Hello there. Hello. This is Isix and... This is eShadow. Excellent. And welcome back to the Dragon Orbit server. Yes, once more we have returned to the Orbit server and then this. I have been away for a little while. Yes. Jerk. <laughs> kind of jerk. I've been moving. Oh, yeah, you got, like, a new apartment, right? Yes. Yeah. With your lady friend. Hmm. Lady friend? Don't let uh, my girlfriend hear that one. Uh, it's, it's, it's another... It's, it's the same thing as girlfriend, you know? Well, usually when you go girlfriend, you go, like, the missus or something. You Canadians are weird. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Yeah, the missus is usually reserved for, like, if you're actually married. Uh, sometimes I, I've heard it referred to as just, like, the missus is in, like, your other half kind of thing. Ah, I understand. And, and I know that the other half also means, like, wife, that kind of thing, but whatever. It's, that's why I, I might be confused sometimes. We're in Minecraft. Yes! <laughs> We're back! So, Baby! So, what is on the schedule for today, Mr. Isix? I don't know. I guess I could, like, uh, chop down a tree. Well, how about... Um, let's see. Some sort of... Rocket ship? Oh, I was going to say we should do these, some of these. Mushrooms? No. No. I'm seeing mushrooms in your hand or something. Yeah. So not mushrooms, but mushrooms? Mushrooms. Do you want to do some mushrooms? Nah. No? <laughs> okay. I've had enough troubles with people doing drugs in my vicinity lately. I think <laughs> uh, I'll pass. Fair enough. <laughs> All right. So I think we're going to need the basement for this one. All right. So time to make some spaceships again. Spaceships. Now, we're not going to go to Mars right away. We're not. We'd like to like have as many people from the, from the community here to, uh, to do it with us. Do a big launch event. That'd be pretty sweet. Like we did before. But we'll like know how to actually use the rockets. So, so uh, we need rocket. heavy duty plates. Oh great, we need meteoric iron. Hmm. Do we have any? Um good question. Um uh, Meteor Oh, we do have a little bit of meteoric iron. Uh not a ton of it. Oh, Two actually plates. we do have a bit more. Few plates, few ingots. Uh, so let's just chuck these ingots in there. So what you're saying is I should go to the moon and try to get more. Uh, yeah, that would help. All right, I'll do that. I want to be helpful and not, you know not getting in your way because you know how to make all the plates properly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I know it off the top of my head. I'm definitely not using the NEI. I need to check my. Uh... Uh, where's okay. my, Good. Where's the oxygen compressor? There it is. Get uh, compressed. Oxygen cluster. Yeah, I haven't filled up these tanks in forever. Actually, that's the second time I've ever filled those tanks. Ever. Okay, so plates. Uh, we're going to need a few other plates. So aluminum, bronze, and steel. Kind of want to expand the moon base too, but one thing at a time. It's very dark up here. I would imagine so. Um, I still love the giant solar panel. Right. Oh, we have lots of bronze left over. More bronze ingots. Um, <laughs> Wait a moment, what kind of spider is that? A space spider? It had a uh, one of those giant head hats thing jigs. You know what I mean. <laughs> kind of. Right? I I'll just pretend yes. Alright. Make you feel better. Hooray, I like feeling better. Um bronze. And that's provide a little light. Oh yeah, we're gonna need lots of these, especially if we're gonna try and make five rockets. Alright. All in meteor. Come here. We'll do as many as we can. Let's see. And uh, we can you know, definitely do the uh, portal thingamajig. Yeah. 
I guess we'll save the plates for when we actually like get everyone together to see how many rockets we're going to need. I'm not sure. Okay, I did pick up the meteor. Hmm. Meteor. Okay. So. Oh, because I had a uh, silk touch. <laughs> uh, I didn't actually break it. I, I, I just sort of collected it. There's another one over here. So I will that. have to uh, fix that when I get back to, to the world. So we need heavy, or we need 10 heavy duty tier 2 plates for just the body. Um, for the nose cone, it's the same as the original one. Alright. Um, for, I think everything else is regular components. Um... We also need an advanced... Oh, no, that's the... Um, that is... That's a cargo rocket. Cargo! Oh, that requires tier 2 level stuff. Huh. Um, and then the tier 1 boosters. Booster! Booster? And, and those will require meteoric iron plates, yellow wool fuel canister... Or filled fuel canister. Uh, some more heavy duty plates tier one and oxygen or air. Yeah, oxygen beds. Which I don't know why those would be on a rocket booster. The uh, oxygen? Uh, vents. Well, you know, you know, rockets, you know, uh, you know, in the real world, they tend to be a, a reaction. You know, the fuel is, you know, a reaction of uh, uh, hydrogen and oxygen, and then they uh, produce a lot of energy and goes kaboom, and so they need oxygen. Mm, fair enough. You just need to breathe. <laughs> breathe, engine. Breathe. Yeah, for folks, you're wondering why I'm sort of taking this particular path. That's because this is sort of the path I took to those one uh, giant pits. So there might be like meteors that crashed along the way. Are you saying they're the pits? Yes, there are a couple pits. But, uh, oh, oh, whoopsie. Oopsie daisy. Okay, so I want steel. I want aluminum. Aluminiums. And I want bronze. Oh, here, here's something uh, sort of interesting so mm. that I sort of noticed. Uh, that uh, there's been several uh, Let's Players doing a uh, Bioshock Infinite. And yeah? I, and they like started doing that like right after I like actually played it myself. <laughs> Yeah, hmm. I'd, I'd seen some uh, Melix playthrough, uh, but uh, you know, uh, it'd been such a you know such a while. I didn't quite remember a lot of it, so but, so it's you know sort of fresh playthrough for me, effectively. Uh, and then everyone else plays like, oh yeah, I remember this. Oh crap, I missed some things. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I haven't actually played any of the Bioshock games. I own them all, but I haven't played them. Yeah. So that's gonna be a probably a series that I'm gonna try and do like a. Do them all at once, kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, I've played uh, the the first and uh, the uh, the infinite, uh, and the uh, uh, DLC for infinite, which is really good. No, so, I've got to get around to doing those. Though so with infinite, uh, if you're not like super distracted by stuff, you can actually kind of guess what's going on in the plot uh, about a third of the way in. You mean a similar thing to what the other ones are? Uh, I kind of know the generic. I kind of know the generic plot of Bioshock Infinite. Well, I, I guess uh, you know if you've you know, after you've played the first one, you know you're more I guess accustomed to expecting uh, sort of certain types of plot twists. Well, I haven't played the first one, um, but I kind of get the general idea. Um. So, so this is where we turn the conversation to back to my ranting about how uh, Ayn Rand sucks again, isn't it? <laughs> uh, oh, I don't even know that rant, so... Oh, you know, you know I did that a uh, couple of uh, you know, episodes of my own recently. Uh, and, you know, it's like, yeah, yeah there, there's, there's libertarianism and then there's Ayn Rand style libertarianism, which is sort of its own orthodox religion thing going on. And, oh, know, just sort yeah. Of, Ignore reality. I'm right about everything, sort of stuff. Yeah, I, I know the basic concept with Bioshock Infinite is like utopian society with some like 
overbearing ruler that if everything is not exactly the right way, then you will be condemned as the one to destroy us all. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yes, we believe in ultimate freedom and markets and things like that, uh, unless you're screwing up the system so that it doesn't work properly. In that case, so, banish forever! <laughs> so, the Nazi is a method of thinking. Uh, I wouldn't go, quite go that far, but uh, it is definitely a, a sort of fascist mentality. You know. Yeah. I gotta do the. I gotta do these up sometime. You know what? I'll just do those now. All right. I haven't. I've only found the two meteors so far. <laughs> two meteors. We're gonna need a lot more than that. Yeah. I guess I can uh, just maybe start working on things on the moon base here and uh, hope things crash nearby. <laughs> I'm gonna do a little uh, harvesting. Harvest. Uh, now does my builder's wand work with that? Where is my builder's wand? Hello, zombie. Builder's wand. So, boop, ba doop, ba doop, ba doop, boop. Day has come to the moon. Damn it. It's like the day of the moon. Ha! They do. Day of the moon was a kind of interesting uh, episode of Doctor Who. But uh, it wasn't quite as good as the episode right before, which is sort of a sad because it's a two-part situation. Uh, I still have yet to watch Doctor Who. <laughs> so, so the the gist is that there's this uh, you know uh, this two-parter set set up. Uh, the first one is the Impossible Astronaut. Where the Doctor shows up in the like the sixties or seventies on Earth, and Nixon's there, and and does uh, and again they sort of go on this. Uh, investigation quest about this, this phone call. It's about this scared little kid calling in and uh, you know, it's like, you know, I'm, I want help and things like that. And, and, the, and then the doctor's like, hmm, we should do something about this. And they, they track down the kid and it turns out this kid's like in a space suit. Hmm. Yeah. Of course, I'm actually glossing over the the, the actual opening of the, the, the episode, but, uh, you know, you know, I'll, I'll, Prefer you Spoilers. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting enough, the, 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 the most spoilerific part of the episode is the beginning. <laughs> um, the end. But anyway. So when watching Doctor Who, would I actually have to um like you know uh like be familiar with the original generation of Doctor Who? Not really. Um a friend of mine's actually been sort of going through the series recently. Uh doing a sort of Focusing mainly on the new series, but sort of picking up random bits of the old uh, when mm. he sort of has time and motivation. Because the old series was like what the sixties or something, or sixty three through eighty nine. Oh, geez, it's a long run. Yep. <laughs> and then there was the uh, the movie in two thousand uh, or nineteen ninety six, I think it was. Not a lot of movies these days, or not a lot of TV series these days that keep up with that amount of time. Nope. In fact, uh, you know, this is sort of <laughs> the only thing that really, you know, you know, is longer at this point is like news programs and soap operas. <laughs> Even soap operas don't really last that long. I know uh, Dallas ended years ago. <laughs> um, but what is it? Um, oh, it's sludge like this. Trying to think of some TV <laughs> shows that have like lasted a good long time that I can remember. Um. Hmm. Wow, this is right here. We never spotted it. CSI lasted for quite a while. Like I think at least uh, the original in Miami lasted like 10 years each. Well, there was the original in Las Vegas. There was the CSI Miami, which was the, uh, the sequel, sort of. Actually, no, the um, the original lasted like 15 seasons. That lasted quite a while. Miami. I actually liked the CSI Miami. It was like a... I like the characters, even though they became, like, uh, international memes after a while. Yes. <laughs> you mean internet memes? Uh, yeah, internet memes or international <laughs> memes, like, whatever. They just turned into, like, big, like, pop culture references for everything. Especially Horatio Kane. Yeah! And his, and his epic one-liners at the beginning <laughs> of every episode. It was actually really cool to see. Um, I've been rewatching CSI recently because, like, I only caught it as a kid when it would be on like 
Spike TV or something. Yes. If you don't know what that is, just a Canadian I, network. I know what Spike TV is. We have oh, it down then. in the U.S. as well. Okay. Then I wasn't sure. Why is this not opening? But um, I had watched it on Spike on occasion, and uh, I picked up a bit more when I was, like, as a teenager. And me and my sister would watch it, and actually the endings would drive my sister crazy. Because, like, she didn't like it how they never showed exactly what happened to the criminals. Mm-hmm. Like, even, like, even though they caught me. And then it just cuts to black. She's like, no! What happens? <laughs> so, yeah, it was, uh, it was fun. And then Miami was interesting. It was a uh, similar concept, but, like, uh, a bit more action-packed, I found. I have some things for you. Yeah? Ooh, meteors. And they're hot. <laughs> Because I just placed them back in the world, they uh, they have to uh, cool down again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, can you put them like not in a path where I'm trying to walk? No, so I put them there. So we got <laughs> 36 heavy duty panels tier one. So let's throw some of the. Oh, I'm gonna need like some of these. So throw both that in there. Chunks. What? Yeah, you need to. It makes like meteor chunks, and then you need to smelt them and all this crazy shenaniganry. I Working. See. Yeah, there we go. Working on some tier two plates. Booyah! Booyah! So, uh. Oh yeah, this chest that's been here forever. So the impossible astronaut. Uh, <laughs> Uh, where was I with that? Oh yeah, the first episode of the two-parter was like really suspenseful, mm -hmm. and you like the you, the you know you sort of get introduced to these uh, aliens that are sort of being just, you know, called the Silence. Yeah, and they're really creepy. It's like okay, I see you there. I'm gonna go freak out now and run away. And why am I running? Huh? That was weird. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> when you don't look at them, you forget about them. Sorry, I, I got lost there. The aliens, I, the, the, the silence. Oh, okay. For a second there, I thought you like stopped and asked the question of why am I running? And I'm like, no, that's you know, it's what's what the other character would be doing. You know, they, they'd see the alien, oh. then they turn around, and then like suddenly like, why? Wh wh where am I going? Okay, I was just saying that confused they look back me for the alien and they're like, "Oh my god, <laughs> what are you?" And the alien's like, "Damn it, I already told you like five times." <laughs> fins, a few fins. I need more steel. I'm going to uh, work on the moon base. If you don't mind. Cool. I will work on a bunch of other stuff. All right. One, two, three, four. Um, rocket. Rocket still, man. See, but you can't make a tier one rocket into a tier two rocket. That would be kind of nice. Laboratory. Oh, I hear oh, things. Oh, I feel oddly oh. drained. Hooray! Do you mind uh, if I uh, craft something? Uh, go ahead. Boom four Boom fins. Boom Get some glass going on in this his house. What uh I should really up my frame rate for frap so it doesn't like choke it down to 30 frames. Choke it. Only thing is it makes the uh the <laughs> a rendered video significantly smaller. Yes. Um I should probably get some glowstone too, just in case. No scone. Boop. Uh, Got a nose cone. Speaking of uh, videos and file sizes, I've been uh, doing regrowth with uh, Blue, our, our mutual friend. Ah, uh, yes, I've been seeing that. And, uh, yeah, we, like, record for, like, three hours. I'm like, Blue, I can't record anymore, like, until I finish processing all this. And, yeah. But he really <laughs> wants to record more. <laughs> but he really wants to record more. Like, I, I know, Blue, I do. But I don't have any hard drive space anymore. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry, I've already told him all this. And he's like, oh. I'm like, oh, I'll we'll figure out something. I'll, I'll process my video. Just just give it time. Okay, what else can I make? 
fins booster. Um, I do need to watch my oxygen, but we're gonna get started, I think. All right. Uh, no. Uh, is that it? Kurt J. Mack died. Uh, rocket engine. I need a flint and steel. You can make flint weapons? Yeah. Huh. I had no idea. It's all part of the uh, Tinker's Construct mod, I believe. Gin and Badoop. What was the other one? Um, wait. There we go. Heavy rocket engine. Huh. Oh, and a button. Okay, that was the other one. Button, button. Who's got the button? Yeah, I'll need a cobblestone at some point here. Engine. And all I need is some more of that meteoric iron right now. All right, I'm going to keep my um, eyes oh, out for meteors. They've, and... they've hardened. All right, cool. And I do realize I do have the hammer that I could have been using for that the, the entire time, but uh, kind of forgot. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. Ah, uh, well. All right, so we're just using full panes here. So we need to go into the furnace. A little sip of Pepsi. You're 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 very peppy. Actually, I'm more cokey normally. You're very peppy for Coke. <laughs> I love my Coke. <sighs> Come on, guys! Don't fall in each shadow's footsteps and become a Coke fiend. But I'm screw, <laughs> screw, screw the Diet Coke. <laughs> And it just sounds like one of those days when I would used to work in the grocery store. We'd just make like meat jokes all day. Meat. Like, um, hey, dude, um, I'm having some trouble with my meat. Can you give me a hand? <laughs> just slap a big piece of tenderloin under the table. <laughs> did you? Did you help them? No, they usually help me. Ah, those are good friends. <laughs> or just very, very, like, cooperative co-workers. Yes, very friendly. All right, I need a few more pieces of meteoric iron and should be good to go to at least build one rocket. All right, I am keeping my eye out for things, but uh, no luck so far. I can always come up there and join you. All right, uh, bring some uh, cobblestone and... Uh, Building materials and uh, you know, and feel free to hand those off to me or uh, help build if you wish. I'm gonna tuck those away in a safe little pouch so they won't get lost if I die. Excellent, no death. Oh, you said you needed cobblestone. Yeah. Uh, anything else? Just just cobblestone. Uh, I think that's probably it. Uh, I don't or... think you need ant bait. Probably not. At least not yet. Should be a good bit of cobblestone. And doop a do, and up and away. Up, up and away, Excelsior! Wait. What? Door wouldn't open. I know that's kind of been a problem with me lately. It, like, doesn't know I'm there. Or doesn't want to acknowledge my existence. And I'm here. Whoa! What are you building over here? Stuff! It'd be kind of cool if we just, like, covered over this entire crater and made, like, a... like a mini segment of Earth in there. <laughs> that would be pretty sweet. Anyway, and you um, certainly can. So, do you have a place that you'd like me to drop all this cobblestone off? Um... Put it inside me. Um. Well, question is, is it gonna fit? 
Mm, yeah. Kind of wish I didn't right, give Zato as my magnet. That's, that's enough. I can't fit anymore. <laughs> hey, you you <laughs> wanted it all. Not until I can like do something with it here. Uh... Okay. Well, I'll go and. Oh, there's a meteor right there. Hooray! It's only a matter of time, after all. Oh, good time. <laughs> go figure. I just I just take out my silk touch pick to move it. <laughs> yeah. And then it immediately hardens. That's one. Oh, there's another one. Hooray! We're cruising now. I knew me just hanging out here and doing random building will be uh, of use. Hey, back here. No, I want. I like. Oh, what? <laughs> Zato, Zato still has my magnet, so <laughs> I don't have it to use. I think mine uh, is back in my house. Wink. <laughs> I like how the items fly up in the air. Oh, I'm finding a ton of these. And we are quite in the area quite often. We need to figure out a way to protect our base, though, from the uh, meteor strikes. True. Perhaps there's a uh, some tool or device that could help. I don't oh, actually yeah. know. I heard someone talk about a force field at some point. Force I think that was field. Bill. Hmm. But I don't know how you'd make those. Use the force, he should. Or if they're even makeable. Um... I'm pretty sure we don't have the uh, like the the, the big uh, force field bond. I think that's like associated with industrial craft. Not entirely sure. Which we don't have. Do 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 more meteors. Now, now I I do like industrial craft, but the power systems for it are terrible. Mm hmm. Other mods mods just do it so much better these days. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, it works. Basically, the uh, the the power system is based on a, a pulse power sort of situation, uh, where you have packets of energy that you, you send like, around. You mean like red power? Uh, not quite. This is the the uh, the industrial craft power. I don't, uh? I don't really know much about uh, red power to be honest. But um, but uh, basically, it's all about like voltage levels and such, and uh, it can get quite quite involved especially if you don't have and if you don't have the right uh, like transformers your devices won't work oh i think oh yeah i have used industrial craft um i played a bit with my girlfriend because i think industrial craft is part of tech it isn't it uh often <laughs> um i used um their solar arrays and that kind of stuff yeah and, uh, yeah, it got a little annoying where you had to, like, step down the power on occasion. Yes. Because if you didn't step it down, it would, like, blow all your machines up. Which does kind of make sense, but it does get annoying. Especially if you don't hook it hook it up right and then all your machines blow up. Exactly, and that got really frustrating. <laughs> Especially yeah. when you don't have all the machines you need to, like, set everything up. What is this? That is sludge. I th asked the same question, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I, I, I like industrial craft as a concept, but it definitely needs a, a power system overhaul before I can really be happy playing with it again. Yeah. And after all, at this point, thermal expansion is just so much easier to use. It does a lot of the same stuff. And big reactors is really fun. Yes. So having a uh, potentially uh, deadly uh, nuclear uh, uh, reactor in your uh, base was kind of a always a fun part of industrial craft. <laughs> yeah, because big reactors those, are safe. But... Yeah, those ones would actually blow up, wouldn't they? <laughs> yes, uh, if you didn't uh, handle them correctly. Yeah, if you didn't. Is that the one we've already explored? The hole. Yeah, it's a whole way out here. Well, there's actually one right next to the base I, that we didn't notice until we <laughs> I found it just a little bit ago. No, this one hasn't been explored. Well, feel free to explore it. Find our skeleton guy. This one still had spawners in it. Excellent. Well, I, have, I have no way of lighting in here. Uh, I have some glowstone on me. Do I have any glowstone bits here? No. 
Whatever happened to us carrying around ender pouches? <laughs> we kept, we kept putting them down, I guess. <laughs> so you know what? I will er, fly up. I'll mark this spot. And come back later. I have no way of lighting. So um, plus. Well, oh, if you want uh, to borrow some glowstone on me, you know, just come back to base here and. Yeah, I still want to mark it just to make sure. Waypoint. Um, new waypoint. Pit. Nope, not. P.I. 